guys! I'm so excited to show you how I do my Elsa makeup from the movie Frozen. So let's get started. First, I start by applying Elmer's glue stick over my hairline above my ears. I apply it in very thick layers to protect the hairs on the side of my head because I will be gluing the wig over it later. Next, I start applying an even coat of liquid foundation all over my face. and over the hair that I glued down as well. Then I apply a layer of Bare Minerals powder foundation all over my face. And then over the glued down hair I layer some more liquid foundation and then some more powder foundation. And I do this to both sides of my head. This also helps if your wig is a little small on your head, or if your hair is a totally different color than the wig. This helps so your hair doesn't show through from underneath. Next, I'm going to put a cool tone blush on. I apply it generously over the apples of my cheeks and nose for a cold, rosy glow. Then I take some matte light powder and apply it on the sides of my nose between my eyes to brighten it up. I apply it under my eyes as well. I also apply some over my brow bone and around my mouth and jawline. Next, I use some shimmery eyeshadow from Surreal Makeup to highlight my face. I start with the tip of my nose, then over my upper lip, and I blend it in. I also dust it over the tops of my cheekbones and blend that in as well. Then I use a very light matte powder and apply it under my eyes and between my eyes, then I blend that in. Next, I brush my eyebrow hairs in place, then lightly go over them with a brown liner pencil. I look at reference photos of Elsa and try to recreate the curve she has in her eyebrows. And I make them look more animated than my natural brows. Next, I take some dark beige eyeshadow and contour my jawline to make it look pointier, and under my nose to make it look lower, and over my forehead to make it look smaller. I also add some light powder under my lip to make it look smaller. Next, I use a pink eyeshadow from Surreal Makeup and begin applying it to my eyelids. The color is very vivid, so a little bit goes a long way. I completely cover my eyelid in the pink eyeshadow, and I drag it slightly upward and outward. After applying the pink, I brighten up areas between my eyes with a light powder. Then I use an assortment of pink eyeshadows from Surreal Makeup to finish my eyes. I use a puffier brush to blend the pink in evenly. And I drag it more outward and upward. I use a light pink eyeshadow right under my brow bone and in the center of my eyelids. And I use the shimmery white eyeshadow around the tear duct of my eye. I also use it right under my eyebrow to highlight it. Next, I use a purpley color and apply it upward from the outer edge of my eye. And around the bottom edge as well. Before finishing my eye makeup, I put in my colored contact lenses. I will add a link in the description to where I get these contacts. Once the contacts are in my eye, I decided to finish my lips by first outlining them with a burgundy lip liner. I line them pretty small because Elsa doesn't have very large lips.
Then I apply some vivid pink lip gloss that I got from Surreal Makeup and blend it in with the lip liner. Now it's time to line my eyes. I use black liquid eyeliner and begin lining above my lash line. First I draw a thick line over my entire upper lash line and wing it out slightly at the end. Then I continue it under my lower lash line. This makes the eyes look so much bigger and animated. I do the same for the other eye. After I'm done lining the eyes, I apply some more purple eyeshadow and drag it up. I also apply it in the crease. And I blend that in. Then I use eyelash glue and apply some false eyelashes. I put the eyelashes on the outer edge of my lash line and let that dry. Then I apply a heavy coat of black mascara to my top lashes. Then a light coat to my bottom lashes. Next, I take down my hair, separate it in the middle, wrap it around my head in opposite directions, and pin it in place. Then I put on two wig caps. And then I put on my wig. I will make another tutorial showing how I made this wig and add a link to it in the description. Once my wig is in place, I use some eyelash glue and glue down the sides of the wig to my head. This helps it hug my head and stay in place. And that's pretty much it for this Elsa look! This dress was actually purchased from Amazon and I made some minor adjustments to the size and glued on some more sparkles. I mainly only use it for charity events and the kids really seem to love it. The quality is very nice as well. I will add a link to it in the description. Feel free to look elsewhere for a dress or make one yourself if you prefer. Part of the fun of cosplaying is doing it in a way that works best for you. I really hope you found this tutorial helpful. I feel like this look could work for other Disney princesses if you just switch up the colors a bit. I will add helpful links to the description, so be sure to check that out. Also, feel free to check out my channel for more makeup and cosplay tutorials. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Bye!